Hello everybody, testing the audio. Um, I am running a little slower because I'm doing a giveaway today and I'll explain all the rules in just a sec. I need to add them to the description, but uh, just for now I'm testing the audio, so just bear with me. I'll be on in just a second. There we go. Hello, everybody. There's the camera. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm a little running low, a little slow, uh, because we're doing a little giveaway in this live stream. Um, as you can see, there is a box right here. Now, I'll explain the rules to the giveaway in just a second, but we will be doing a giveaway at the, um, probably at the end, I don't know, yeah, probably at the end. Um, as you can tell, it's just kind of a test run for this giveaway system that I'm going with here. But before I get to that, um, let's talk about what we're doing today. So today we are crocheting a burb, another burb, just like last week we're crocheting a burb, except this time we're making it a turkey instead of a pigeon. <laughs> 
So, uh, this pattern is actually free. Uh, it was free this whole weekend. Um, so today is the last time, uh, last day to get it for free. So if you want to find the pattern, you can find it right there. There's a link right there, clubcrochet.com slash turkey. That's where you can find the pattern. Um, and it is only going to be free till uh, tomorrow. So, so make sure to uh, crochet your turkey ASAP. Um, in this, for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. I'm using the colors pink, white, yellow, maroon or wine, and brown. Um, you'll also need two or four pairs of safety eyes. I'm using all six millimeter safety eyes. Here you can see the one right here. And you only need four pairs because we're doing two for the face and then two for the little burb face down here. Um, let's see, what else, what else? You'll need stuffing, of course. I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. Uh, I've been pre I've been testing out using a smaller crochet hook sometimes, um, and you'll see what for in just a bit. But for now, it's only for this. Uh, we're using a size G. Um, stuffing, you'll need a darning needle, um, safety eyes, let's see, am I missing anything? Scissors, yeah. You can actually get kits uh, for this little guy right now. It's in the shop. There should be a link in the description down below if you want to uh, just quickly get the link uh, to, to buy a kit. Um, I've got kits made and I'll ship them out to you. I think they should still get there by Thanksgiving uh, if you order them like now, but uh, it'll be cutting it close. So yeah, sorry. Um, there are also pigeon kits available. There's a bunch of kits. Actually, that reminds me. Um, uh, how you can support this channel. So as you guys are getting your materials, let's talk about that. So if you are, if you like what's going on here, uh, you can support this channel in a few different ways. The first way is um, with a membership. That is definitely the best way to support the channel. Uh, if you would like to, you can sign up for a membership by going to clubcrochet.com. Members get early access to future patterns that I'm working on. They get access to my entire library of patterns. So every pattern that I come out with, you have access to if you have a membership. Members also get monthly kits mailed directly to their door with all the materials that they need to make whatever we're making that month. Next month, uh, and if you sign up for a membership right now, it's actually the last week to sign up. You have to sign up before December 1st. That's when uh, the cutoff is. But if you sign up for a pro membership by December 1st, you'll get a kit for how to make, um, well, what you see on the screen here, a present. Uh, not only a present, but there's also going to be a balloon because uh, it, it's a, you know, a, a present from, uh, from Animal Crossing. But it's also just like a present for... Christmas. Um, I've been addicted to making these. I have a. I love the patterns, uh, and I'm very excited to share them with you. I'll share more about this in the halftime show. Um, uh, then, yeah. So that is the pro membership. Kim, thank you so much. I will get to you in just a second because I have a new fun thing for people that support with a super chat. Um, there you can see it, super chat. Thank you so much, Kim. You're amazing as always. <laughs> I love you. All right, um, so that's the best way to support is with the membership patterns. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Membership start at only $5 a month, uh, and you can even get a free trial if you're interested in just trying it out. Um, you also get video tutorials for every single pattern I make, and there's PDFs, and yeah, it's great. It's a really good deal. I, I really think it's a good deal, and, and, um, and it helps support the channel, which I appreciate. Uh, okay, the other way to support is by purchasing merch or kits in the shop. Like I said, there are kits for this and the little um, pigeon, which uh, here's a little pigeon right here. So these are the newest kits available right now, so you can get those. Um, and you can get a bunch of extra stickers. This is actually what we're going to be winning on the giveaway is some stickers. So we have a little professional hooker sticker, a little crocheting orc. I have a new one in the works for a burb coming soon. Uh, and a stitch sticker, so I'm really proud of those. Uh, and yeah, the last way you can support is how Kim supported uh, by doing a super chat. So you can basically give me a little donation, uh, which you know helps the channel and everything like that. And if you donate, I'm gonna be doing this thing that we kind of started last week. We're gonna do it again this week. You're going to get a crocheted piece that I've already made. I'm gonna toss a piece just for you. So Kim, 
thank you so much. You are amazing because you uh, give me an example too. So you're incredible. You are gonna get, let's see, what, sh what are we gonna do? Let's do this guy. Let's do this one right here. Kim, you get a troll and not just any troll, this. She got a fuzz in her hair. This is Ramona. This is for Kim. Kim, thank you so much for super chatting. Ramona will be on screen to uh, cheer you on and say thank you so much again. So that is for Kim right there. If you super chat, I'll add another one just for you. Okay, uh, now let's talk about the giveaway before I get crocheting. So as you can see, we have a present right here and this is gonna be the newest kit that are coming out uh, are the newest patterns that are coming out very soon. I'll talk about them a little bit later, but there is something in this box. It's a pattern from the Club Crochet Library and we're gonna do a giveaway for it. Uh, not for it, you're gonna win a sticker, not the thing that's in the box, um, just because, yeah, I think this is more of a test kinda, because we're gonna be doing, I wanna do uh, a giveaway every single live stream up to Christmas. So. This is kind of the test run a little bit because I don't know exactly how it's gonna roll just yet. So if you um, would like to enter for the giveaway, here are the rules. Let me pull up the rules in the description. The rules are in the description of this video, so you can just quickly go to that. But the rules are three things. First off, you gotta like this video. Please like the video down below. Um, it just helps the channel in general, and uh, it's if you like it, you like it. You know, it's just nice to do. Two, be subscribed to the YouTube channel. You gotta be subscribed. Three, and the most important one, honestly, is you need to comment in the video comments, not in the chat, in the video comments uh, below this video. You need to comment with, I need to turn this music down. One sec, it is very loud. And distracting it's good music though just distracting okay there we go okay you need to comment on this video so down below the video comment with your guess for what's in this present okay it's gonna be a pattern from the club crochet library so there is your biggest hint now here are the, the rules with that um, don't first off don't put don't put your guess in the chat because I, I won't be able to look at it there and uh, you'll get one guess per person of what's in what's in the box. Only one guess per person, okay? So guess one thing. Now, the first one to get it right will win the giveaway. And if no one gets it right, I'll choose someone at random to win the giveaway. And the reason I say the first person is because you kind of have a little bit of a strategy here. You can wait till the end or till like a little bit later. You can wait to guess what's in the box because throughout the live stream, I'll probably be dropping a hint here or there for what's in the box. So if you want to wait and like see, but if you wait too long, you might be too late to guess. You might, I might give it away, but it's too late. Someone already guessed it. So you choose if you want to just Take a guess right now. Go ahead and guess in the chat. Otherwise, uh, take your take your time and don't forget you need to comment below this video to guess what's in this. To guess what's in this. So, um, let me see if I can I can actually see what people have guessed while I'm watching it. I need to pause the video. Scroll down. Yes, there have been no comments yet. Let me just. I'm gonna do a comment right now. Guess what's in the box here. Okay, and the winner will get a pack of every sticker that I currently have. I'm gonna just send the stickers to every every one of the stickers to whoever wins. Um, that's just for this giveaway. I'm gonna start to do more giveaways as we're going. And, oh my gosh, the loudest ding in the world. Let me turn off my notifications on my, oh. Boy, oh, so many. There we go. Do not disturb. Thank you. Get out of here. All right. Um, so no one seems like they've guessed so far, which is totally fine. It's probably a good idea to be um, to be safe and uh, go with some hints. But you know, guess when you're ready. Uh, okay. So that is the gist. Oh, no one can comment until the live ends. Okay. Apparently, no one can comment. Let me let me check on here. Cause that's that's gonna that's gonna totally screw up the whole thing. 
Really? You can't comment? Dang. Uh, dang it. Okay. Okay. I'll do something different then. I'll do, <laughs> I'll do something different. Comments are disabled till the video ends. Okay, so we're gonna do something different then. Disregard what I said. We're gonna do some some shifty stuff right here. We're gonna go ahead and go with um, a Google Sheet. Oh no, a Google Form. We'll do a Google Form. I gotta make it real quick though. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that you couldn't guess until the. I'm such a doofus. I'm such a doofus. How do I do this? Here we go. Forms, new form. I'm so sorry that I gotta do this now. Guess what's in the box? Uh, and then it'll be a short answer. It's a pattern from the library. Again, I'm so sorry about this, but I'll put the link in the description. What? Okay, required, yes. And, uh, okay, settings. I need to collect your email address. I need one response per email. And, um, yeah, save. Okay, I think this should work. Let me try this. Hopefully this works. Short the URL, and we'll copy that. Okay, so now I have a URL. We're gonna guess here. That's where you're guessing. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the, I'm gonna fix the description of this video too. I'm so sorry about this. This is why it's a test. This is exactly why. So vote or guess here. Boom. Fill the form out. Ba 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 ba. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay, there you go. So it and then I will put. Um, okay, so I think that's working. I am going to also, yeah. Guess who's in the box? Responses. Okay, people are responding. Perfect. Okay. So um, yes. So you got to guess what's in the box to win. All right, so it's going now. It's gone. We're gone. We're gone. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, and yes, you have to guess the specific item. Yes. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Well, I have been uh, doing this for too long. Now let's get to actually crocheting. Um, Kim, I just want to say thanks again for the super chat. <laughs> I appreciated that. Okay. So we're making a turkey today, and there are a few different um, things that we gotta make here. We're gonna start by making the gobbler. And hello, chat. I am sorry that it took me uh, so long to get going today. Obviously, there are a lot of different um, things going on. I'm distracted. I'm distracted, and the coffee is just entering my bloodstream. And don't guess in the chat. The chat is not gonna help you. On like I, I'm not gonna I'm gonna choose based on who enters in the form. And again, it is a pattern from the library. So one, two, three, four, five. So it will be a, a pattern that is currently public on the thing. And it obviously it fits in the box. So it's not going to be like Yancy the Yeti. That's not going to be in that box because it won't fit in there. But a lot of my patterns do fit in there. So, you know, that's not a, it's not a gimme. As you can, as you probably know, I do a lot of little mini patterns, little tiny ones. Oh, you want to see the patterns on the site, boys. All right. So we're gonna put that to the side. We got a, we got a gobbler. A gobbler. Um. All right. Wings. Now we're making the wings, and we're gonna start with our brown yarn here. Hello to the chat. Will I drop hints? Absolutely. I'll be dropping hints. I'll be dropping hints. But not yet. 
we're just getting started, so so just give me give me a sec to get all situated, and then I'll start dropping them hands. Or maybe I already have dropped hands here. I don't know. Uh, Live Life asks, uh, are you going to teach us or no? No. In this video, I'm not teaching you how to crochet the turkey. Instead, I am uh, just we're doing a crochet along so you can make the turkey with me. The pattern is currently free. You can find it uh, by going to clubcrochet.com slash turkey. So you can find it right there and there is a video tutorial on that website. So today is the last day you can get it for free. After that, it's only $2.99. So it's not really that much money. No, oh, Eric Hernandez. Thank you so much, Eric. Let's see, what is Eric getting to add to the to the thing? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go with. Let's go with. Oh, here, this is a good one. This is a great one. That's a good one. A bacoblin. There you go, Eric. This is my own personal design for bacoblin. It's kind of based off of the orcs. But yes, thank you, Eric. You're amazing. Thank you so much. This guy's going to be watching over us. We got trolls and bacoblins watching over us here. They're like, you better do a good job. That's how I imagine bacoblins would talk if they could talk English. You better do a good job. Speaking of bacoblins, we're listening to some Zelda music right now, aren't we? Okay, so I think what I do on these wings is I finish the pull through with brown and then I tighten it like that and then I undo the stitch that's what I do like that okay boom now I grab my orange yarn followed the link and it says invalid uh oh Aaron you followed the link for the giveaway or for the pattern I will fix whichever one is the problem which one which is it will I be making an owl burb next that's a great question so um, the the situation is that uh, you get to decide which which burb I'm gonna be making next so currently on the website if you sign up you go to uh, club crochet Dot com and you log into your account on the home page uh, if you scroll down you will be able to vote on what you want the next um, the next pattern burb pattern to be now currently I believe the the owl is winning so the owl currently is the next one gosh what a loud song this there we go. This playlist keeps changing. It's like, I want to be loud. I want to be quiet. Oh, are we... Is everything shaking? No. We're good. Um, okay. That's like that. Like that. Yeah, so I think currently the owl is winning. Uh, and it will be the barn owl because I like the barn owl more. <laughs> I get to make a little bit of decision there. And I like the barn owl a lot. Barn owls are my favorite owls. For sure. I love them. They're so cute. They're just so cute. And they remind me of the the owl spirit from um, Avatar, which I know is so silly, but I just love Avatar the Last Airbender. A colorful parrot bird. Oh, I fell. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a lot of different burbs. A lot of people have been suggesting, um, like, the uh, a, um, a peacock, which I think would be really cool. I need to just start making a few of them. Uh, just a few, like, different kinds and see what is the best one I can make. Okay, so that's right. On the wings, there is a right wing and a left wing. So I've got to make each wing individually. So I'm going to start with the right wing. Three, two, and three, and then you make these kind of like cool feathers for the wings. If you're following in the pattern, I really like. I like doing the wings different. Usually, I like you doing like all the pattern the exact same, but it's a nice. Um, it's a nice change when you can like do the. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I never know what I'm talking about. Let's just be honest. I just rattle off. Woo, an avatar. Sarah did an avatar theme for her bullet journal. I tried doing bullet journals uh, once upon a time. Actually, like this was like a year ago. And I just couldn't keep up with it. It's just so much work on top of like all the other things. All the other things. I'm going to tighten this a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got one of the two wings done. Now let's do... The next wing. Why is it doing that? I got this weird. There we go. Okay. Need our brown yarn here. I love the boibs. Don't we all love the boibs? If you do a super chat and you have a request on what you want me to add for you, uh, Make sure to add that in the note of the super chat, by the way. Otherwise, I'm just going to choose what I think is cool and what I think is great for you. Ooh, Anna thinks that there is a small crocheted Santa in the box. Hmm. Hmm. That could be so. Santa is one of the patterns in the Club Crochet Library. But I do have to say, a Santa would be hard to fit in that box. Don't forget, it has to fit in the box. And it is made... Here's a hint. Whatever's in that box is uh, the same size as I normally make it. So, like, if I were to do a turkey, for example, it'd be this size of a turkey would have to fit in that box. So you can kind of see, I think you probably could fit, like, a bokoblin in there. Like that. Like you'd have to squish him. But that's a hard fit. So there's a good hint. It's going to be one of the smaller patterns. Burb is life. Burb is life. All hail the burbs. All hail the burbs. You guys are going to love the new t-shirts and stickers that I'm working on. Um, they're all burb themed and my friend who drew the um, who drew the fork sticker is the one that is helping me out with it and oh my god they're so freaking cute um, maybe I could show you I'll show you in the halftime show some of the sketches that he's been working on just some like early sketches it's it's not finished but you'll get a good idea it's all pigeon and church of perch related is it a finger puppet? Hmm. I'll tell you what. No, it's not a finger puppet, but it could be turned into a finger puppet. So there's a good hint. It's not a finger puppet, but it could feasibly be turned into a finger puppet. I have not made a finger puppet version of what is in the box. There is a big hint. That's a big one. Oh, I'm so I'm so excited to show you guys what's in the box. Also, how cool is it? Uh, I'll just I'll I'll wait till halftime show. Okay, I just want to I want to talk about the how cool that the box pattern is. Um, it's actually a collaboration pattern. I'm working with um, Sir Pearl Gray, which many of you guys know. He's the one that helped with Gulliver. And he helped with, um, he did the anglerfish, Angie the anglerfish on the website. So we are working together to do a floating present from Animal Crossing, which I'll share some uh, early uh, prototype designs in the halftime show. We're going to be doing, I think what we're going to be doing is do the box pattern on my channel. And then I'm going to try to get him to do the balloon pattern on his channel. That way we can kind of like get him a little bit extra like followers and stuff. All right, so we got our wings done. Here's our, oh, I love this song. Do you guys notice where this song is from? It's 
from Yoshi's story. Yoshi! Yoshi is uh, my my main character when I play Smash Brothers. So if you play Super Smash Brothers and you end up with a against a yellow Yoshi that's name is Louie, that's me. I'm all I'm in Elite Smash though, so you gotta be uh you gotta be an Elite Smasher to first verse me. I was kicking some real butt last night. I was fa I I started facing um. In Smash Brothers, I started to uh, get matched up with pros, like legit pros. I don't always win against those; they're too good. But I look them up afterwards to see. It. And one time, I was on a Twitch stream, on someone's Twitch stream, versus him, and I lost. But I put up a good fight, so I don't feel that bad. All right, get some one John here. Ooh, Nitty wants. Nitty thinks she knows, but she wants more hints. Well, don't wait too long to guess, or you won't. Or, or if you do actually know what's in there, you'll be too late, because whoever gets there first. I don't know what the heck is going on with this. What? What did I do? What did I even do? Oh, that's what I did. Okay. I think I screwed that up somewhere. I'm gonna undo that last stitch because it looks all weird. Okay, here's what you do. Yeah, we're gonna crochet our four in the magic loop and then we're gonna tighten it and then we're gonna change to orange. I always forget that's that's my system on this. I do it in the video, but I always forget here. See these little marks in my hand? Can you see them? Those are from uh, Jimbo this morning. He was being very bitey this morning. It was really annoying. <laughs> really annoying. I hate when he gets all bitey. He's trying to show affection. He's trying to be like, I love you, but it hoits. It hoits us. May M Mayhawk, thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. Dude, Sasha! Oh, you know it's... You know it, Sasha. Sasha, thank you so much for the super chat. And she has made a request. Ugh, Sasha's favorite. This is this is Sasha's favorite. Sven, the coffee snob. <laughs> Hello, Sven. Sven will sit over here. And he will be judging us. As we go, thank you so much, Sasha. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, Sven, come on. He's been drinking. Maybe he hasn't had enough coffee yet. He can't sit upright. There we go. There we go. And we don't need the turkey in here. We can move the turkey out. Give more room for the other, other fellas. Dude, thank you so much. Mayhawk, that means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Amy Groomy Boy, where do I submit my answer? There is a link in the description of this video for where you can submit your answer. Um, it is a Google form. Uh, you can also find it higher up in the chat. Um, and maybe one of the uh, admins will post a link every now and then to where you can guess to. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. If yeah, Sarah and um, Melbell, if you get a chance um, to copy that link and just paste it like every, I don't know, 10, 5, 10 minutes into the chat, just so it gets, so people know where to go. Okay, so we are working on the tail. Oh, yeah, we got to keep crocheting around the brown yarn. I have not made enough turkeys. I have, um, I had, I've made like, four of them so far and I hid one of them in the apartment building I don't think the neighbors have found it yet I'm doing this thing now with the neighbors kids where uh, every time they find one of the burbs that I hid I give them a um, mehek okay got it um, every time they uh, every time they find one of the burbs then I add another one somewhere else so 
they keep going like, oh, I found the berm. All right. I added another one. <laughs> it's fun. I don't know. I have fun. Okay. So we did the... Boo, boo, boo. Yes. Okay. Got it. Chain two. And then we want to double crochet. I really like how I made the tail. It's kind of like you're doing some weird, uh, I don't know. I don't usually mess with double crochets and half double crochets too often in my patterns, but I do in this pattern. I use a lot of half double crochets and double crochets to make the, um, the tail and the wing. And I really, really like how it adds some extra detail to the pattern. Dude, they are on top of it. Thank you so quick. Thank you to the moderators. Thank you so much, Sarah and Mel Bell. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your support. Ooh, Frankie. That is a that is an that's a guess. That's an interesting guess you got there. Now I will tell you, currently, this is a pattern. Um. The, the, the pattern that's in this box is already a pattern on the website. So it's not, <laughs> there's not going to be another box in this box. Now that being said, I'll show you something in the halftime show that I think you're going to like. But this is a pattern that's out currently. It's not a rough draft pattern. It's not a, um, it's not a pattern that is coming out soon. It is a pattern that is already out. Uh, May Mayhek, uh, is this pattern free on your website? It is today. The pattern, well, depends on which one. This pattern um, that we're working on, the turkey, is, yes, it is a free pattern today, um, but it will be not free tomorrow. So make your turkey ASAP. Or sign up for a membership and you'll get access to it forever. Amy Gurumi boy still can't find the link. They just posted the link. And it's in the description. Okay, so we're changing over back over to orange now. We're doing the tail feathers. Ooh, Victoria, good move, good move. Yeah, I do think that um, I think that these turkeys are a lot easier the second one you make, to be honest, because the tail and the the wings and stuff can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so we want to chain three, skip a first stitch. Aha, yes, I remember. And then we just do, yes, 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 excellent. Dude, me too. Stranger Danger, I totally agree. Stranger Danger says, I love crocheting things that have function, like storage or something. And that is a huge, um, that's a huge part of designing patterns for me that I really like. I, I don't really like making just things to, well, sometimes I do like making things just to decorate, but usually my amigurumi has like there's a purpose for whatever I want to make for, even if it's like to make it into a keychain or to make it into a finger puppet. I like ha them having a function, and I've always been that way. Um, some of the first things I crocheted, one of the first things I made was a an owl where the head, like it opened the mouth, like opened up for the owl, and you could put uh, things in it. And I made it for a uh, I had a crush on a girl, and so I made her this owl. And I put it in a uh, in a locker that uh, we both knew which locker it was, but no one else knew which locker because it was like just an empty locker. So I put it in that locker, and I would put notes in it for her. It was cute. I don't think I've ever said that memory out loud. I think that's the first time I've ever said that. But yeah, that was one of the first things I actually made. Um, that was one. I think that was one of the first like patterns that I wrote, but I never like came out with it. It was just like a personal pattern. 
Lillian asks, how did you come up with the burb designs? So I came up with the burb designs. First, I made, um, let's see, how did I come up? First, I made the pigeon. So I, I was playing um, Fall Guys with my girlfriend and my friend Emilio. We were playing the new game Fall Guys. I mean, newish game. And they have a pigeon in that. And I was like, oh, my God, that pigeon's so cute. I want to crochet one. So then I crocheted one. Uh, and it was just like a simple pigeon. And then I realized, oh, you know what? Like like the head was attached for the pigeon. And then, uh, and then I remembered, oh, you know, I have these patterns on my site for... I had these patterns for um, mini burbs in the rough drafts, which are just like, just, you know, tiny little birds. So I was like, oh, what if I put a little bird under the, the other bird? And I didn't tell my friends this. I just like did it. And then they thought it was so funny. So the design is kind of worked off of the Fall Guys pigeon a little bit. If you look up the Fall Guys pigeon, you'll see that it's like, it's not directly the same, but you can see where the inspiration kind of comes from. A little bit. Inspired by, not stolen. I would I would truly say that I don't think it's fully stolen from that. But you can make your own decision there. But yeah, that's how that's how it started, and then I just got addicted. I was like, oh my god, this is so funny. And then I realized, oh, I could put magnets in the butt to make it so that you can put it on on my on the curtain rods and stuff I don't know I love it all right let's there we go let's see how many guesses we got before I continue here oh we got 29 guesses so far that's a pretty good that's a pretty good amount of guesses all right dude yes okay Kim Kim with the double the double support. All right, so Kim says instead of putting a character out, which I'm going to put a character out for you also, but she says instead of putting a character out, can you do a shout out for your husband for being awesome and supporting so many crafting hobbies, please? Kim's husband, Mr. Simmons, I want you to know that uh, I appreciate you supporting your wife so, so much. It is a huge, huge thing to support the person that you love with whatever their art or hobby is. So from the bottom of my heart, from someone that has been with been with significant others that have not supported them, I want you to know that it is a huge, huge deal that you support the person that you love. And uh, yeah, Kim, you have a wonderful husband. And uh, yeah, thank you. I'm gonna put out something for you, Mr. Kim's husband. Mr. Simmons, let's see. What is what is Kim's husband? What do you think Kim's husband is into? Let's see. Let's go with um. Oh, there's an interesting one. Sure. Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. This is an old one. It's not a pattern yet. Uh, it was an old pattern, but uh. I don't have it on the current website, so if you are interested in this pattern, I guess let me know. Um, if I see people that are interested, I might add it on the website again. Uh, but Altair from um, from Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed just came out recently. And so this is for you, Kim's husband. Thank you so much for your support, Kim. Again, <laughs> you're amazing. All right, so now I've finished those. I'm on the feetsies. Uh oh, Crafty Bunny, the form is not working for you. Hmm. Well, if you already guessed once, it's not going to work. So maybe that's it. Let me see. It's accepting responses. Hmm. Yeah. Here's, here's a hint. Uh, well, not a hint, but um, there have been... Oh, 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 I just realized I can scroll down here. All right. There have been 29 responses so far. How do I know? Oh, man. Okay, individual. That's what we're looking for. 
Okay. Alright, let's get back to it. I'm getting distracted. I'm getting this. You guys are distracting me. Oh my god, it was perfect. Kim, how did I know that? How did I know that he was playing Assassin's Creed right now? I'm a genius. I'm a genius. That's what all the kids say. They say, oh, Lois, he's a genius. I need a little bit more room to crochet here, so. We'll bring these guys in a little bit. I ain't saying. Welcome to the streams. Okay, so we're making little feetsies right now. Um, here is another. Let's let's give you. I'll give you another hint. Um, the nether. Another hint is. Um, hmm. What is a good hint for this? Hmm. I, I want to give a hint without, like, you know, giving anything away. Well, I gave the good hint that it could be a finger puppet, but it's not. That's a pretty solid hint, I gotta say. I, I Maybe I did that one a little quick. Catherine Yalrock. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys make me blush, I swear. <laughs> so we're making little feetsies now. I think what I'm going to be doing is every um, every week till Christmas, I want to do another one of these giveaways with this box. Uh, and then and the giveaways are going to get better and better. I, That's kind of the idea. Especially once I figure out how they're going to work. Type one rose, thank you so much. You're wonderful. You're a wonderful person, and I love you. Thank you. Oh, Maya, yeah, dude. You're going to get addicted to making pigeons, I swear. I. Yeah, you're going to be putting them all over the place. I think um, the mini magnets are kind of tricky to get uh, I just buy I just buy them on in bulk like massive bulk on uh, on Amazon so that that's how I'm currently getting them okay so I'm making the burb beak now go right there this nail has been um driving my crochet recently because I need to use it a lot when I'm making these boxes um, because they uh, they have this like kind of, it's kind of tricky when you're making um, like the the 90 degree angle to where the box like turns you know uh, you I have this like new tricky method to make it so it's really pronounced a really pronounced turn I actually didn't do it for this one but I did it for my other boxes um, and it kind of is tricky to do, so I need to use this nail. So this nail has been, like, driving my crochet recently. It has really been <laughs> doing the work. Okay. We are doing... We did the wing, the feet, the beak. Oh, we're on the head. We're on the head already. Jeez, we're flying. We're flying. We're barely even an hour in. Dude, Lillian, we're chill as the, something that's chill. <laughs> it's, you know, a lot of people come into these chat, into the chat, and they always say, like, this is such a chill live stream, which I totally appreciate. That's definitely kind of the, the vibe I'm trying to go for. But I wonder how not chill other live streams are. I guess I just don't watch. I watch, like, some other live streamers that, um, usually I watch, like, people that are playing, uh, like video games like Smash Brothers and, and uh, Among Us and stuff. I guess I don't watch too many other crafting live streams, but 
by how many people say that this live stream is chill, it makes me think that all these other crafting live streams are like, yo, we're fuck, <laughs> we're crocheting today. I almost dropped the F bomb there, but I didn't. But I almost did. One, two, three. Chill as a freezer. Chill as a freezer. Mel Bell just posted in the chat where you can submit for the giveaway. Where you can make a guess. And once I finish the head, we'll be doing the halftime show where I'll be um, showing you what's in some other boxes, which will... They're chaos. Oh my gosh. Yeah, gaming gaming live streams go crazy. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is in the halftime show, I'm going to be uh, showing you what's in some of the other boxes that I've been making, which will give you a good idea like of the kind of stuff that I've been adding to, to the boxes. So it'll also give you some hints of what's not in that box. which I think will be nice. I almost said a bad word. I almost said something naughty, but I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so we are on the head. <laughs> Catherine, you're funny. I'm not saying crafty i'm not gonna say if anybody got it right or wrong just yet also i haven't looked really i haven't like looked uh too in depth but i ain't gonna tell you <laughs> over nine thousand. i used to watch uh, a lot of dragon ball z when i was younger and also when i was older <laughs> I haven't watched it in a long, long time, though. I started watching um, that new... Well, new. It's not really that new. I watched uh, that Castlevania show on Netflix, and then I started watching the, the Zeus show. It's like Blood of Zeus is what it's called. And it is extremely graphic. And honestly, I just wasn't really into it. It's just... It wasn't really my, my cup of tea. I thought it might be because I really liked Castlevania, but... I don't know. There's something about it that I just didn't like. That being said, I have started watching a show on Netflix, which if you are, um, if you are above 18, I would suggest this. Uh, it's called Anti Donna. It's like a sketch show and it's very funny. It's, it's really silly. Um, it's these Australian dudes doing like this sketch comedy. It's very funny. I, I highly suggest it if you want to laugh. Uh, just some weirdos doing sketch comedy. Have I watched Super? No, I haven't watched Super. Oh, that's a great question. So Lillianne actually brings up a good thing. Um, so she asked about the, or she said next movie night will just be Dragon Ball Z, which would be funny, but probably not gonna be the case. Um, I've actually been thinking about what to do for the movie night. I could do a movie night next week, or we could just do a lot regular old live stream, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should do a movie night? I wanted to get your guys' opinion on that. Do you, would you like to do a movie night next week? I'm not too prepared for it. I think if we did a movie night, I'd do something like, like maybe Star Wars, maybe a Star Wars movie night. Um, but. Let me know what you think about that. Or or we could just do a crochet along like we're doing today. Kind of like a fun just crochet along. So let me know what you think. Would you rather do a movie night or that? Yeah, I was also thinking a Christmas movie. That's one of the reasons why I was thinking not doing a movie night is because I want to do a Christmas movie, but I want you guys to vote on the Christmas movie. So I was thinking we could do the movie night in early December instead and make it a, a Christmas movie night. Oh, did you hear that? Whew. Yeah, because I wanted to, like, to do a Christmas movie night with, uh, duh, 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 yes, okay, a lot of people are saying movie night.
Oh, yeah, that put one. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Let's well, say movie night, movie night. Harry Potter movie night, make the owl. Oh, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah, the Christmas movie. A lot of people saying Christmas movie. Maybe I'll do a vote on uh, the YouTube like community channel to see what movie. Because that way I can get more votes that way. Okay, a lot of people are saying movie night. So okay, I'll I'll try to I'll try thinking up uh, what movie to do, and we'll do a movie night. We'll just do it at the normal time of our live stream. So we'll do it next Sunday at one p.m. still. But um, I'm not sure what movie yet. So just stay tuned for that. Yeah, I know, right? Did you see that that neck crack? You're gonna see me kill myself by accident. I'm gonna be in the news. Live streamer kills himself on a live stream by cracking his neck too, too bad. Nasty neck cracks. All right, we're gonna pull that to the side. We're gonna make the beak now. The beak is the trickiest part of this pattern because it's the it's a spiked bobble. And if you are well versed with my patterns, you'll know that um, I use the spiked bobble for a. A pretty good amount of patterns actually I use it a lot for like the goblins and troll noses and stuff like that and it can be tricky it is a tricky uh, tricky stitch to do there we go how quiet is it oh man this music is so quiet that you can't even hear it I'm gonna turn it up just a little Oh, this is the last song in the playlist, and we got it. We got it. I I downloaded two uh, two like playlists of uh, autumn fall themed uh, Nintendo music. So we'll see how we'll see what we get next time. Hopefully, I don't get any like. Uh, sometimes I get a like not a cease and desist, but like a hey, don't use this song kind of thing. But I usually don't get that when it's if it's a video game. So let's hope, let's hope that the next one's all Nintendo music, because then I, I'm pretty confident I won't get a cease and desist. But we'll see. Okay, so now we're on the next eye. I'm sorry I'm not paying enough attention to the chat right now. It's just this part of the pattern is a little bit tricky. The trickiest part, so I need to like kind of focus a little bit. Oh my gosh. Sarah? That is going to be the Christmas movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Muppets, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I think Muppets might be the way to go. Hey, uh, speaking of, well, I don't know why this reminded me of it, but there is a new Loop and Pearl podcast coming this week. Oh, I know this song. <laughs> This is from Majora's Mask, or or actually, it might just be from Zelda, or Queen of Time. Not sure. It might have reused it in Majora's Mask, but I remember it because I remember listening to it forever while you're talking to someone. Oh, I love that everybody agrees that the Muppets is perfect. <laughs> That's really good news because I think I might just do that. <laughs> I'm not going to crochet a Muppet though because it's too hard. I'll probably do uh, some kind of Christmas themed pattern. Wow, 120 people watching the live stream right now. Hello. Everybody, this I think this is the most we've ever had at one time watching a live stream. So if you are currently on the live stream and you are new here, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for joining. If you haven't yet, please like the video down below. It, it really helps uh, me understand what 
other what kind of live streams to do in the future what uh it helps other people find my channel and find these videos so uh and it's just it just helps in general so if you can please like the video down below and subscribe if you're not already muppets for life all day could i possibly do a pork that's an interesting idea a pork huh there is a um there is actually already a pattern for a snowman in the in the on the website kim and i know there's another wow god music golly got loud freaking dj while i'm live streaming here <laughs> all right um there is a pattern for a snowman uh what else was i saying i was saying something muppets muppets blue wee oh yes my question is a uh it or my what i was gonna say is there's another amigurumi artist um, who we've done work with before. He, uh, she goes by Geeky Hooker. She's actually the one that designed um, the uh, the Chonky Dino. Um, the 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 what's that dinosaur called? Uh, the the you know the Chunky one. Um, come on, Chubzilla. There we go. She's the one that did Chubzilla. And uh, she, oh, I should say, hold on, I gotta do, I gotta do this because I just realized in the form, boom. There, I fixed it. Um, so she's the one that did Chubzilla. She has a pretty good Porg pattern, I have to say. So if you really want to get a Porg right away, go there. I might do a Porg on the website eventually, but she has a killer Porg pattern. <laughs> I like how everybody, I'm like, what is that thing called? And then the chat catches up to me and goes, Chopzilla, everybody, Chopzilla. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I, I love that you guys are always like, you guys got my back and I appreciate that. Thank you. The Sunday live streams just perk me up. I gotta say, they they make my week. I want to start like part of me goes, oh man, it'd be fun to start doing more live streams. But then the other part goes, I don't know. I kind of like that they're just on Sundays. It's kind of like a nice little thing that we get everybody gets to look forward to. It's not too much. It's not too little. If you miss one, it's like oh, okay. I know there'll be one next week, but it's not like. I, you know, I'm conti continuously doing live streams so often that it just gets like repetitive and too often. So I don't know. I think about that a lot. I think if I were to start doing more than one live stream a week, uh, I do the other live stream on my Louis Loops channel and it wouldn't be crochet patterns. It would be probably like let's play and crochet like like let's play video game and crochet simultaneously or let's um or a like a stitched maybe we do like stitched live i used to do those a lot um so i'm thinking about starting to do stitched live more often also dude i know 120 viewers crazy freaking crazy thank you guys so much for watching everybody that's watching the live stream right now you should know i pee shape you <laughs> that's what i tell jules all the time i pee shape you jules So I think I got two more rounds here on the face, and then I'll, I'll add the eyes and the little gobbler, and then we'll do our halftime show, where I can show you all the cool things that I've been working on this week. I love the halftime shows because I just, they encourage me to keep going. You know, Not like I need that much encouragement to keep crocheting, but they encourage me to make new stuff, which I think is kind of fun. This might be from Stardew Valley. I'm not very sure. Yvonne, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Thank you. Rose says, I missed the Stitch Lives. I was thinking about doing... Okay, so 
I'm thinking about bringing Stitch Live back in the new year, in January. Um, and what I'm thinking about doing for Stitch Live, that's actually why I made that puppet, which you'll see in just a second once I finish this. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is doing Stitch Live and having it simultaneously on the Louis Loops channel and the Club Crochet channel. And you can vote. You can like support one team or the other team based on which channel you're watching. So if you're watching it on the Club Crochet channel, then like you're supporting the red team. If you're watching on the Louis Loops channel, then you're supporting the blue team. And we'll have like the chat on screen for each team and stuff. I don't know. That's my idea right now. And I think it's kind of cool. Let me know what you think. I think it's kind of cool though. It's just going to be kind of tricky for me to set up, but it might be pretty fun. Uh, Amy Groomy Boy asks, when are you going to announce the winner? I'll be announcing the winner at the end of the live stream. And I'll be uh, emailing them directly and sending them a, um, a pack of stickers. So you're going to get every sticker that I currently have, which includes five stickers total. Oh, you want another hint? Nana wants another hint for what's in the box. I'll give you a good hint uh, in this halftime show because I'll show you what's in the other boxes. So you kind of get an idea of the, the, uh, the stuff that's going into these boxes. Okay, so that's the, actually, was that supposed to be? That's supposed to be a single crochet. I did a slip stitch. Boop, boop, boop. Almost done here though. And I'll, and I'll probably give another good good hint then too. Don't wait too long to guess, though, because if someone guesses early, before you, then they'll win it. If I mean, if they guess it right. If no one gets it right, don't worry. Um, someone, I'll, I'll give it to, I'll choose someone at random. Uh, Fandom Random says, no burb sticker for the winner? Uh, yeah, not yet, because it's just not done yet. Um, I'll show you what the early sketches are for the burb stickers, though, in the halftime show. I just want to hide this end. The burb stickers are going to be really cool, though. And we're going to do t-shirts also. So I'm going to do some burb t-shirts and some burb stickers. Coming soon. Okay. So we got that done. Now we just need to let me stretch that head open up a little bit. Now we need to add the, um, the gobbler and the eyes. And we're gonna start with the gobbler, just cause it's a little easier. But we need a burp, yes, burp sticker's coming. Don't worry, I'm, go I'm, I'm trying to get them uh, made as soon as possible. I just really wanted to have the uh, illustrator help out with it. I'm al I also think I'm gonna start doing, um, there's like this super chat thing that you can do so you can get emojis like custom emojis on YouTube I don't really know how it works just yet but I'm still trying to figure it out uh, Daniel Cook asks what brand of crochet hook do you use slash recommend mine is metal uh, but I think one with the handle like yours might be nice so first thing I'll suggest is met like you were saying a metal hook is a necessity in my opinion, when it comes to crochet. Um, you can use wooden hooks, but uh, personally, I crochet so tightly often that I can break my crochet hooks if they're not metal. So that's why I suggest a metal crochet hook if you can get one. Uh, the next suggestion is like you're saying, the handle. I like having a rubber handle for my crochet hook because it helps with stuffing things in. So if you're, um, if you're making Amy Groomy, it helps a lot to have like a rubber crochet stuff in. Now, currently, I'm using a clover. You can kind of see the logo right there. They're called clover crochet hooks. Um, I like those ones a lot, but really, any one with a rubber handle is is the way to go. So, uh, this is also a clover one. Clover's a great company. I, I think I think they make really good um, crochet crochet uh, stitches. <laughs> Louis is actually the hog when he crochet is great. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding the eyes next. Yeah, clover hooks are really good. I, I think those are, um, that's my first suggestion, but uh, there are other options out there for sure. 
Uh oh, look at this. I'm running out of eyes. I gotta like kind of search for them in here. There we go. Look how many. Look how many like. What are these called? Like the backs? I have so many more backs than I do eyes. Okay. Don't. Yeah, Divine Rose. What she said. Do not get the ones from the dollar store. They. Yeah, they snap. They will snap. Unless you're making like something really loose so you don't have to like worry about something snapping now i'm gonna make the eyes going cross-eyed outside i just think it's cuter well actually we could do cross let's do cross-eyed inside because i don't think i've done one cross-eyed inside any it for a turkey let's do that mind changing my mind yo sir for gray is in the chat perfect timing dude perfect timing wait till you see the I sent you. I just sent you a picture, actually, uh, a few like an hour ago, but I'm gonna show them on the chat for people to see. So, like I said before, me and uh, Sir Pearl Gray are working on another collaboration for floating um, presents from Animal Crossing, and we're kind of like kind of maybe split the pattern up. I don't know. We're still talking about it, but the idea is gonna be that we both do videos. He does the balloon, and I do the gift that on there yeah there we go and let's do the other one right here but um yeah we're still kind of working on the details but it'll be out sooner or later and again if you haven't heard of sir pro gray yet go check him out he's got a really amazing uh well, his Instagram is really the place to go. He, he makes some incredible stuff. But just in general, he has some really amazing patterns. Um, check out his Etsy. Just go check him out in general. He is a, an amazing Amy Groomy artist. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. He's like looking straight into your soul. Rose, good night. Thank you for joining, Rose. <laughs> Cornish maid says she has no idea what's going on. <laughs> All right, so we made the eyes. All right, so we got the head done. And now you know what time it is. It's the halftime show. Oops. Like that? All right. Ready? Ready? Right? Right? Hello and welcome to the Halftime Show. I'm your host, Jack Gurgle. Uh, many of you know me from uh, my very famous television show, The Goblin and You. Uh, it's a talk show where we talk about uh, all things goblins. Um, yeah, but today Louie asked me to help out with a halftime show, so I am here. If you'd like to help support this channel, here's how you do so. You can support by uh, helping with a super chat. So you can uh, super chat in the in the in down below in the comments. And if you super chat, you get a little puppet or a little crochet thing that he adds to uh, the 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 screen. Yeah. Nah. Hold on. The camera's all set up weird, so I have to look at it weird. And it hoits. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, see, I gotta turn it. Let's do it like this! Yeah, I like going sideways. That's that's the way to do it. That's the way to talk. Um, yeah, so that is the best way to support the channel is with the super chat. You get something on screen there. You can see on screen we got four super chats so far. Um, yeah, or you can become a club crochet member. Okay, well, that's enough of me. Yeah, you're done, okay? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, guys. Welcome to Halftime Show, where I show you all the things that I've been making this week. Now, the majority of things I've been making are present themed, so I'm not going to be opening this present yet. That's going to be for the end of the live stream, but let me show you some of the other ones that I've been making. So here is a present right here now this is a better idea of the kind of gifts that we're doing for um the 
giveaway. I mean, I mean, this is a better idea of how of the kind of gifts that we're doing for the uh, kits. So if you sign up for a monthly kit, you're gonna get a kit with all the materials to make this with a balloon attached on the top. And um, what's pretty cool is that these gifts can be made. Um, you can see see how you kind of, it, it's kind of hard to tell here, but I did this really dope thing in the corners to make it really obvious that it's a four cornered thing. Crocheting boxes in general was really tricky, but I'm really proud of it. Um, and what I think is really cool is I did little holes on the bottom so that your your strings can actually come out of the box itself. The first attempt, I didn't do the holes at the bottom, and you can see it, like, it just doesn't sit up flat, whereas if you do the holes, it does sit up flat. So you can kind of choose to make it one way or another. Uh, the, again, these are still, I'm still working on the patterns. It's not ready just yet. But let me show you what's in some of these. So this is the first one I made. So this one's pretty easy. I just open that guy up. And uh, you can see see how the corners is, are not as pronounced because this is an earlier draft. And this is a newer draft. So you can see it's a little bit more pronounced corners. And in the older draft, what do we got here? Oh, that's right. I forgot I did that. We got a pumpkin in this one. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember what's in half of these boxes. What I did with earlier drafts too is I crocheted around wire for the end to make it so you can make the it a little bit more pronounced. I didn't feel I needed that for the newer versions of it, but I don't know. Still need to work on that. There's a pumpkin in that one. Toss that guy to the side. That one's open. Let's see what's next. You want to do the little one or let's do this one. Let's do this one. So you can see how you can make it taller or shorter. Now this one I didn't do holes in and I didn't do the corner thing. So I still need to work on that. But open this one. I'm gonna have to reclose all these. These are all gonna be um, gift boxes I'm gonna use to give to family and stuff. Toss that string to the side. And what's in this box? You got that right. It's an octopus. So this gives you an idea of the kind of things that are gonna be in this one. now. This is a currently a rough draft pattern on the website. So if you uh, have a membership, you have access to rough draft patterns, and one of them is for an octopus. So I still need to work on this pattern, but yeah. It's so cute. Look how cute she is. She's just so cute. Put it back in the box. Get in that box. No, wait. I don't want to come back in. Too bad. <laughs> so we got an octopus. Now what's in these ones? What do you think's in these guys? Huh? You got a hint? Yeah, I guess. Let's do, uh... They both have... These both have the same thing in them, I'm pretty sure. Let's start with this smaller one. So the smaller one has got... And you can see, you just take that off there. The smaller one's got... <laughs> another box in it. Someone guessed that earlier. And it was a good guess. But what's in this box, I wonder? And how small do the boxes get? A little, little tinier box. And in this little box, what's in this little box? Boop. Open it up. Is the white box the same size as the red box? Yeah, these ones are the same size, but uh, the red, the well, it's actually pink. This pink one is is just a little taller. Okay. And in this box, it's a skull, a little skull. I just thought this was such a cool skull. I, I think I'm gonna give this to my cousin Grant or my brother. I'm not really sure, but this is gonna be a gift for one of them. I hope neither of them are watching this. Okay, let's see. We got one more box here to open. And this little box, what do you think's in this little box? Ready? In this little box, it's an even tinier box. And what's great is this little box can fit into this box, which can fit into this box. <laughs> this box is all the way down. Now what's in this little tiny box, I wonder? I wonder out loud. Wait, I'm getting the tops all mixed up. In this little tiny box is Open it up. Uh, 
I could, I think I can make an even smaller box, but I still need to work on that. But it's not an even tiny smaller box yet. It's a heart. This is a new heart pattern that I'm working on for February. Just like a real, it's, I mean, it's not that tricky, but yeah, it's like a little, a little tiny heart. It's a really easy pattern, actually. It's I got I I designed it by um, making the tails for the for the owl. Here you can see see the tail for the owl. It's kind of like a heart. I was like, oh my god, that's a perfect heart. So then I just made one and I put it in the box. So I think I could go even smaller, but I'm not totally sure yet. Let's put that back in there though for right now. Put that in there. And I'll show you one more thing that I've been working on. Uh, the the basic idea of what these boxes were originally designed for is for floating presents from Animal Crossing. So these are going to come out soon. But here you can kind of see. Here's our two floating presents right now. I think I'm going to work on something different for this one. But you see, I I'm going to do we're going to do three different sizes. So here we got the medium and the small. You can kind of see how big they are the camera medium and small these do have things in them uh, but I don't really want to open them because they're kind of tricky to open this one I think has a marble in it uh, just because that's what I had close when I was making it and then this one's got a, um, a star a little tiny crocheted star in this one so these are all coming out soon you oh you want the owl on screen sure well here's the owl I'll add them there. If someone wants to super chat and, and support that, I'll go for it. So yes, we're gonna be making more of these guys. And um, obviously with these boxes, you can make so many different things other than like presents and boxes. You can make other stuff too. So let me put these guys down. <sighs> you want me to open them? I don't wanna open them yet. Okay, so. This is this is just an idea. Oh shoot, the button fell off. This is an idea. I've been like trying to see what other things I can make with these boxes. And here's my first idea. It's a slime like a a, a what's it called? A, a a gelatinous cube from D&D. That's what I kind of tried designing here. And if you actually if I lift it up, there's a skull in them. Here, you can see them. Oopsies. There's a button, so I did a hole on the side here. To, so that a button could be sticking out of him. A little gelatinous cube. He's so cute. He's such a cute gelatinous cube. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Daniel, fine. Fine, Daniel. Gosh, annoying. Fine, I'll open the boxes. You make me open the box. It's hard to put this, this balloon back on it when I open the boxes, you know. It's hard to do. Okay, fine. So in the small box, Daniel... This is for you, dude. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it without this balloon coming off. And the small box is... Oh my god, a robot pattern. Sarah, you're a genius. That's a great idea. Oopsies, I accidentally sewed this onto it. But, let's see, it's a little star piece. A little star. Goes into this one. Okay, there you go, Daniel. For you and then in this one I mean it's just a marble you really want me to open it it's a marble it's just a marble it's like an orange marble in there you can kind of hear it here hear that it's a marble okay so those are all the things that I have been making this week gosh I got a lot of I gotta tie all those back together later Put them on the side of the screen for right now. Fix that a little bit. Okay, so now uh, let us let me give you a better hint. Oh my gosh, wait, did I just miss a super chat? I missed a super chat, didn't I? Sasha, thank you for the extra super chat. I'll leave this gelatinous cube on screen for you too. Thank you. A Dobby pattern, that's great. Okay, so we have... <laughs> but I want to see it though. Um, okay, so let's see. Was I working on anything else this week before I finished that? Oh, oh, that's right. I want to do a hint. Um, okay, so you want a hint on what's in this box? Let's see. He is. 
Okay, it's a he. I think it's a he. It's an it? It's a living creature. It is a creature. In this box is a creature of some kind. That's a pretty good hint. That's a pretty good hint. I think that's a pretty good hint. There's a creature in this box. But what creature is it? Is it a bad creature? Is it a good creature? Who knows? Let's us see. There's been 44 guesses so far. And I'm not going to tell you if anybody got it right or wrong. Because I don't want to... Well, I don't want to, like, discourage anybody from guessing, you know? Let's see. I just want to see... Uh, uh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay. How do I see what's in what people have responded oh there we go oh I can barely see what people are responding I'm just gonna have to go individually and see until someone gets it right wow 45 responses now someone else just responded who just responded Marty AM Marty You oh Slither Marie, you already guessed though. You only get one guess each. Okay, well let's get back to crocheting. I think I did a pretty good hint there. I think you probably maybe know what's in that box now. But I'll do another. I'll do more hints as I go. Nitty, you gotta make that guess. You gotta guess before someone else guesses it. Uh, okay, so what are all the hints I've given? The hints I've given are that it is a, um, it can be a finger puppet. It is a creature. Um, and uh, it's small enough to fit in that box. So it's not like Yancy the Yeti is not in that box. It's small enough to fit in there. So this owl could fit in that box probably. Uh, oh, and it's a pattern that's already on the website. It's not a rough draft pattern. It is a pattern already out. Um, so now I'm making the, we're starting our, our head. Yes, uh, a lot of people are requesting Dobby, uh, a crocheted Dobby. I could probably do a crochet Dobby, I think. I'll have, to, I'll have to mess around with that. I'll have to think about that this week. Maybe I'll make a little rough draft this week. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay. So we're on to the burb. Skeletor is not letting you open the form. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Sophia asks, where do you find the pattern for the boxes? They're not out yet. They're going to be out uh, in early December. So make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want early access to it, make sure to become a member on the website because uh, that is how you're going to get early access to patterns. What is new on the rough drafts? Nothing yet. I think I'll add the slime mold pretty soon on the rough drafts, though. Uh, probably this week. Have... I haven't watched the Animaniacs yet on Hulu, the new Animaniacs. I, w I mean, of course I've watched all the Animaniacs. That, that was, like, huge for me when I was a kid. I watched so much Animaniacs, so I'm very excited to watch the new one. Uh, and I know there are some cool pigeons in the Animaniacs. So I I, I need to check. I, I need to just rewatch the Animaniacs. I don't think Jules is going to be huge into watching Animaniacs. I don't know. I'll have to ask. Might be like a, a show that I just watched by myself though. Uh, Sarah, will I be doing patterns for dwarves and kobolds in the near future? Yes, they are already currently rough draft patterns on the website. So if you have a membership account, you should have access to those rough draft ones. But those rough draft ones don't have video tutorials for it. I haven't really tested it out fully. So there's um, still some fixes and changes I'm gonna be doing to that. But uh, they will be coming out. I'm tr gonna try to come out with them in January. 
I think I'm gonna do uh, in January. I'm gonna do dragons and and dwarves and kobolds and we're gonna get we're gonna get back into stitched in January and, and maybe some into February. Um, Skeletor uh, asks, is, is anybody else having trouble with the form? So let me know in the chat. Is anybody else having trouble with the Google form? He's having trouble opening it. I'm wondering if anybody else is too. Uh, could a human be counted as a living creature? Yes. Yes, it could be counted as a living creature. And I think it's a he, but I'm not totally sure if it's a he. Tig Duck, I uh, guess there should be a Google form in the, the description of this video here. Let me copy the link for you and I'll put it in the chat again for you unless someone beats me to it that is where you guess I just put it in the chat someone mentioned the link doubly do doesn't work there but mine but that I Oh, maybe yeah, maybe I pasted it wrong in the Oh, you know what? It's probably cuz there's an exc exclamation point. There, I fixed it. It should work in the description now. Try try it again in the description. Let me know if it works. Okay. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron's Aaron got it. I I I fixed it though. It should work now. Please try again if you haven't. How big is the box? Here I'm holding it now. It's about that big. So whatever's in it is smaller than the box is, obviously. It can fit in here. I haven't checked all the all the um all the answers but someone might have gotten it. I don't know. I haven't checked them all. I I think the hints are good enough. I'll I'll add another hint in a little bit though. Oh, a sloth would be so cute. I need to do a sloth. I need to. It's a necessity. I'm so sorry that the link wasn't working before. My bad. Again, this is just a test run for this giveaway. I'm gonna be doing more, one of these every um, every live stream up to Christmas, I think. So, we'll do another one of these soon. I gotta make a giant box next time. Maybe I'll make it like, I'll make a giant box with just like a little thing in it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Coffee. Coffee break. Cold coffee break. I need to do something after this live stream, but I can't remember what. Like, I needed to go somewhere. I can't remember where. I'll have to ask Jules. Hopefully she remembers. Oh my god, that's a great idea, Nona. Nona, you're a genius. Yeah, I mean, think about how many options are available now that I can crochet boxes. Boxes were really hard for me to figure out how to crochet. Um, because everything in crochet is very, uh, very organic, very circular and, and spherical. 
So doing boxes was kind of a tricky, tricky thing to do, but I figured it out. And now I love them. <laughs> now I'm addicted. Uh, you need to, Aaron, Aaron says, we need to meet your mom. Uh, she has to be very interesting to have raised such a character. My mom is wonderful. I love my mom. Uh, she is not as weird as me. I will be honest. Uh, my dad, on the other hand, may be as weird as me. My dad is very, uh, is a character. Uh, I'm, I'm much more, my personality is much more like my dad's I think but my creativity is much more like my mom's I don't know they're they're great though I love my parents my dad is uh, currently he currently just bought a uh, a t-bird you know what t-bird is a t-bird is a like a a cool convertible car so he, he builds cars my dad like likes to build cars um, and so he sold one of his cars that he had already built, and he used that money to buy a new T-Bird. And um, he used to have one when he was younger. And it is the coolest car ever. It is so cool. And so what he's doing right now is my dad's, uh, my dad is a jolly man, if you know what I mean. Like, a jolly man. <laughs> my dad's got belly to him. And, I think that uh, so. So what he's what he's doing this this year is he's going full Santa. He got a Santa outfit. He's got a white beard, uh, and he's driving around this red T bird in his Santa outfit. Um, just because he's a he's a character, so you can kind of see where <laughs> crochet your dad a Nona, Nona, yes. That's such a good idea. Oh, I hope he's not in this chat to see that. Oh my god, that's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. I'm totally going to do that. That's such a good idea. Coffee and Crochet says that she's a carbon copy of her mom, except she's got her dad's nose. <laughs> I got my dad's nose too. I always say that it, it's a butt nose. Here, you can see. Let me get close to the camera. See my nose? See how it's got like a little butt? It's got like a little, I don't know. I think it looks like a little butt. It looks just like my dad's nose though. Okay, we got one more there. We'll do a round of single crochets. And I think that should be. Yeah, my dad, my dad is a, it, he he's made to be a Santa. So what he's doing right now is he he works. Um, well, he's retired, but he works at a um, a museum as the blacksmith. So like people walk up and they and he teaches people like how blacksmiths did their stuff and stuff. So he does like just blacksmithing in general. So he makes like uh, he made um, uh, he made like. I mean, this is not a very good example of the, of the work that he can do. He's a very good blacksmith, um, but he makes like he made like this, these like uh, uh, nails. He turned these nails into swords for my little orcs and stuff. Just an idea of how he does his stuff. So, yeah. Actually, that has like a surprising point on the end. It kind of hurt my feet. <laughs> got got me good. Oh, a dreidel. That's a great idea. I love that idea. I wonder if I could actually get it to spin. He is very cool. I like my dad a lot. He retired uh, like, like a decade ago, probably. And right when he retired, he got a hot dog cart. He always wanted to, to own a hot dog cart. So he bought a hot dog cart and he started selling hot dogs. And he was like, it was so much work. For, <laughs> he did great. Like, he, he was making a lot of money doing a hot dog cart. But 
he was retired, you know, like he didn't, he wasn't doing it really to make money. He was doing it just for like a gig and it was so much work. But they were great hot dogs. Okay, so now I'm adding um, the face of our burb. Our burb. What did I do? Oh. <laughs> Monty, that's so funny. I, I, I look a lot like my mom, too. I'm... I'm lucky to say that I have, I think I have more of my mom's body <laughs> than my dad's because my dad's, well, I might have my dad's body one day if I keep eating donuts every morning, which I did this morning, and I, well, I'm out of donuts now because I ate a whole box of them, but at that rate, you know, I might start looking more like my dad. <laughs> I hope I don't, I don't go too much though. This song, uh, what Sasha asked, what song? Where is this song from? This song is from, I think it's from Zelda, um, Breath of the Wild, but I'm not totally sure. It it definitely seems like a Zelda song. Oh, new song though. New song now. Okay, so we gotta add our burp beak here. There we go. Tuck, Tig Duck, uh, yes, you can answer by uh, using the link in the chat or in the description of this video. Here is another link. This is for you, Tig Duck. I just posted it in the um, in the chat. So all you have to do is go to that form and fill it out. You just need to add your email and um, and whatever your guess is. And I'll try to do a better system next week. I might do this again, but like make it easier. I don't really know. I need to figure it out. Maybe I'll do like a community thing and I'll make it so you can comment on the community. I don't know. I, I need to figure it out. But I'll, I'll do something. I'll work on it more for next week so that it's a little bit easier. You're very welcome, my dude. Cornish Maid just says, question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know why, but that's what Cornish Maid said. I'm here to help if you have any questions. <laughs> okay. Maya, just heads up. I'm going to be doing the giveaway once I'm done with this uh, burp here. So you probably have about... 15 to 30 minutes left, I would say, till I do the giveaway. And here's my plea again. If you like this video, please like it down below. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody that has uh, super chatted and subscribed and liked and, and everybody that's a member. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. Oh, you have, uh, yes, my dad has an Etsy shop. Actually, that is true. My dad's Etsy shop, I think it's called four, the, the number four, four M, the letter M, Metalworks. So four M Metalworks. I think that's what it's called. It's called four M because our last name is Mensinger. And there's four of us. So he called it four M Metalworks. He's got a really cool setup, cool uh, blacksmithing setup in his, uh, in, in a, um, in the backyard it's it's really cool it's like in a giant shed it's dope oh your yarn snapped oh yes i'm sorry the owl isn't available yet um it'll be available soon though i'll be working on it uh ASAP to add to the shop. The owl's a little tricky because there are color changes in the face um, and you have to like crochet around the face so there's a few tricky things to it but it'll be coming out soon so keep an eye out. 
um, on the Club Crochet Library. Just just go to the website. Uh, go to if you're if you're signed up for the website, you should get my email notifications for whenever I come out with new patterns. That's the best way to know when I come out with like a new one. So yeah, keep an eye out there. You can tell I've made a lot of these burbs because I am just running on a uh, on like autopilot right now. I haven't looked at the pattern since we made the wings or the tail actually since we made the tail. <laughs> yes, Mel Bell, thank you. Um, yeah, Tug Tug Duck, uh, that is definitely where you want to start is with my crocheting 101 series. I think it is the best uh, the best way to get started. I'm actually kind of making um, some not up updates. Well, kind of updates. I'm I'm trying to like redo the videos a little bit so that they're in horizontal mode for your phone, so that I can um, share them on on other places too, to make it a little bit easier for people to get introduced into crocheting. I don't know. You guys know me. I got a million ideas, a million projects, always have. Okay, so we got our little burb here. God, I am crushing so tightly. Look how tiny he is. He just seems so much smaller to me. He is smaller, look at that. He's like significantly smaller. I don't know why. This whole week I've been crushing crazy tight. I don't know why, okay. So we're going to start with uh, sewing on the wings. Let's sew the wings first. Dude, thank you, Ying. Thank you, yes, I am super, um, super proud of Crocheting 101. I do think it needs a few updates on like like I want to update how to make the magic loop method. I've been meaning to film. I meant to film that yesterday, but I just didn't have the time. And now, it, to, Sundays are always like, once I'm done with the live streams, I don't really want to be in this light box anymore, just because it's kind of like exhausting to be under hot lights. Um, and you know, this I like I like using my energy with for you guys. <laughs> I don't really want to. Use the energy. I don't know. I just don't want to do a video today is what I'm trying to say. But it should be soon. I'm going to do an update for that. I want to do an update for how to do... Um, maybe this should be a lower, like right here. Where did I do it on this one? Oh, no, no. That's right. Yeah, that's where I did it on this one. We'll go up right here. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Hi, Tamya. Hey, Tamya, uh, we're doing a giveaway. If you would like to enter to try to win, um, you have to guess what's in that box. There is a form, a Google form, in the description of this video that you need to fill out. Uh, it's just one question. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I've never seen that movie. I need to watch that. Seven, I think it's called Seven. I need to check that out. Ow. There we go. <laughs> Sasha, I'd say it's a bit late for tea, but that's <laughs> wouldn't be very British of you to say. <laughs> it's true. Brits love their tea. Who doesn't love tea, though? I mean, tea's great. I just like to put honey in my tea. You, you British people love to put uh, milk in your tea, which I think is a great addition that we don't do nearly enough. Unless you're getting, like, boba tea then you get milk in your tea but normally i don't put milk in my tea even though it's a lot better with milk the trick is going to be making sure that the 
other wing is sewn on similarly to this wing. But I think sewing thing, sewing the wings on for these um, burbs can be a little bit tricky because uh, there are four different threads for each wing that you need to sew on. It can be a little tricky there. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So now I just need to tie all these ones together and then get the next wing sewn on. This song sounds like it's from Pikmin. I don't think it is, but it sounds like it is. Hey, by the way, any of you guys play Pikmin? Um, the third Pikmin, uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe just got re-released on the Switch. And Pikmin is one of my favorite games of all time. So if you're looking for a new Switch game, Pikmin. Go get it. It is a great game. Also, Ori and the Will of Wisps is a game that I just played. It's a little bit tr tricky. It's kind of a tough game, but oh my god, it's so much fun. Also, Melbell, you're going to love this. Um, I just started playing Picross on the Switch, and I am addicted. I started two nights ago, and I'm already like almost done with all the first all the all the main regular levels of Picross. But I see you playing Picross all the time on on Switch. So I know you like it, and so do I. It's a great game. It's so fun. It's so, like, simple but tricky. I don't know. Bye, Tig Duck. Dude, yeah. Dude, Picross is amazing. What an incredible game. I remember playing it a lot on the, um, on the DS when I was younger on the first Nintendo DS but the new one I mean I, I just got the fourth one because they're on sale right now actually if you're looking for a game to get on switch right now I think they're on sale for like super cheap in the um in the shop in like the the Nintendo eShop or whatever one two I think that's oh I love this song do you know what this song is uh oh I'm totally gonna get a I'm going to get like a letter from YouTube saying like, hey, you can't use these songs after this because this is from the game Last of Us. Oh my God. Oh my God. Have you guys played Last of Us? It is seriously one of the best games I've ever played. It's one of my favorite games. Love it. Love it. Bum, 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 bum. And the soundtrack, oh, the soundtrack is so good. I think that's probably good right there. I don't know. I used to listen to the, in college, this soundtrack was like all I studied with. I just would listen to the soundtrack over and over and over and over again because I loved it so much. A little too tight. Maybe I could crochet it a little bit better. I'm gonna try sewing this on a little bit better. Okay, let's try this again. Let's start with um let's start with these ones. Aaron, yes. I mean, you're right. I don't own the rights to any song, but I do get a, um, I do get, uh, like if I play Nintendo songs, usually they don't like get mad at me. They don't give me like a, um, like ad warning, but if I play songs, I don't know. It just depends on the song. Usually Nintendo songs are good, but Last of Us might give me a a warning. It'll be like, hey, we heard you use our song. Don't do that. Or give us give us money. That's sometimes what they do. They'll be like, we're gonna take all your ad revenue from this 
from this ep uh, live stream because you used our song. And it's like, you really feel like you deserve all the ad revenue? All right, whatever. Whatever. That's what's, what's really nice is that um, a lot of the ad, a lot of this channel is like supported by you guys directly and not via ads, which is super helpful, like freeing, you know? It's like, I have a lot more freedom to be who I wanna be and to do what I wanna do on this channel because I have people that sign up for memberships, uh, which as I say, it's the best way to support the channel because I'm not like held to, to being, um, to doing stuff specifically for ads. I can I can be more free in what I'm making and stuff like that. So everybody that's a Club Crochet member, thank you. Yeah, I we got an electric kettle. Jules always gives me crap for making a uh, hot chocolate in my in the electric kettle. I mean, I don't make it in the kettle. I make just water in the kettle. But um, but she always gives me crap about doing hot chocolate with water instead of milk. Do you guys feel the same? I find that it's just a lot easier to do it with water. And also, um, I don't want to drink that much milk. That's just too much milk. <laughs> Oh, totally agreed, Zoe. Yeah, tea is so much better when someone else makes it for you. It's like it's like the the, the idea that like pizza's a million times better when it's free. It's just a fact. Free pizza is good pizza, even if it's bad pizza, it's free, so it's great. Daniel stands with Jules. Ugh, man. Yeah, I'm in the minority here. Hot chocolate must be made with milk. <laughs> Aha, Sarah. Me and Sarah are, we, we're, we're connected here. Everybody else, you're wrong, not us. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna make, we're gonna add the tail right here. This is the Halloween soundtrack actually, I just realized. We're gonna go back to the first soundtrack because I want to. And I liked it more. It's more folly. The other one was too good, too uh, Halloween-y. There we go. We got some Zelda. Wow, we almost have 200 likes. Hey, let's try to get to 200. If you like this video, please like it down below. We have 196 likes already, which is crazy. Ooh, this is from Mario Odyssey. This is from uh, like the forest or the yeah, like kind of like the foresty level. <sighs> what a great game that is, Mario Odyssey. Dude, coffee crochet, coffee and crochet. Thank you so much. Coffee Crochet says, uh, for the Church of Perch. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot to show you the Church of Perch things. Okay, well, first off, this is for Coffee Crochet. Um, you are gonna get, let's see, let's see, let's see. How about the Hummingbird? Hummingbird seems good, right? This is for you, Coffee Crochet. Also, Coffee Crochet has an amazing YouTube channel where she makes little crochet things. Go check it out. She's very talented. This is for you, Coffee Crochet. That's for you. So, thank you. And, and 
I want to show you the illustrations. Um, so these are the illustrations, the early drafts for the um, the Church of Perch illustrations. Um, all right, here we go. Hopefully you can see it on the stream. So ignore this big pigeon on the left there. But these are the early illustrations from my my friend. So he's gonna make different kinds of birds with the hat, the heads. So you can buy the stickers and then you can add any kind of burb head on top. And then here is a little Pope uh, burb for the Church of Perch that he's drawing. And then here, this is gonna be the t-shirts and the big stickers, Church of Perch stickers. So a little early, early preview of of the Church of Perch stickers that we're working on. So, and t-shirts and stuff like that. They're gonna be great, I'm very, very excited. Hope you guys like them as much as I do. Oh, no worries, my du divine rose. We won't have the Christmas music, when we start doing Christmas music, is going to be video game themed because I just like it more. So hopefully it won't be the same Christmas music you hear a million times. <laughs> Sasha's like, I'm buying that merch. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to, like, I'm just going to put those stickers everywhere. I'll make sure to come out with them as soon as he finishes the illustrations and, and we're happy with it. I'll make sure to get them in the shop. I need to test them out and stuff, but yeah. What a tangled mess we have on the inside of our burb here. But we're almost done with them. And then we can show you what's in that box. What's in the box? I gotta check the guesses too. We hit 200! Oh my god, we hit 210. 211! Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for liking the video. I appreciate it so much. I am shocked that we got so many and it's just so cool. Thank you very much. Alright, so let's go ahead and double knot all these in innards. I don't know what this song is from, but I like it. Oh, and there it goes. I like it and it's gone. It does kind of sound like Wii music, didn't it, fandom? Okay. There we go. We've got that double knot there. Just double knot the other one. Our little feet. And then we'll have one more round to crochet and then we'll be good to go. I might just go hide this on the street today because it's already almost Thanksgiving. I don't know what I'm going to do with another turkey. There we go. I mean, he's looking great, right? Looking burbalicious. <clears throat> yes, we're not crazy. We're just obsessive about burbs. <laughs> gotta love, gotta love the boibs. You have, you have to love the boibs. You have. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. You have to love the boibs. Gotta. Gotta love the boibs. If you don't love the boibs, they will come for you. You gotta be careful because you gotta love the boibs. I think right here is good and right there. Right over the wing. Or right under the wing, rather. Church of Perch. Oh. 
<laughs> Virginia, thank you. <laughs> thank you for going above and beyond to like it again. <laughs> You're so funny. I appreciate that. Thank you. The Church of Perch welcomes you. Yes, of course, of course. One more foot, and then I can uh, crochet the last round before we're done. I feel like I... <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. It feels a little off-center, but I think it's just because of how he's, like, looking. I wonder if I can crack my neck again. We're gonna check. We're gonna find out in a sec. I couldn't wait. I had to do it then. The chat's gonna be like, no, you're gonna die. <laughs> Sleep def deprivation is just, just part of the deal. No sleep for the hookers. Divine Rose, congratulations on the hat ribbing. Okay. We got our we got our little feetsies on. Now we got one more round of the body. Before I do that, I'm gonna add some stuffing. Now is probably like close to your last shot to guess on the giveaway. And just in case no one has gotten it right, let me give you another hint for what is in the box. Last hint. Um, he is a I shouldn't say he. Uh, I'll say it. It is a prominent character in a television show. That is a solid hint. Super good hint. Andy! Andy! Thank you so much, Andy! Okay, we need to add something for Andy. Andy, do you have any requests? Let's go with a... Let's go with... Let's go with the the classic. Let's go with the classic. Santa Claus. This is Santa Claus. This is for Andy. Thank you, Andy. Santa Claus is gonna be added just for you. He'll be right here. We'll get the this burb. We'll put this burb over here and right there. Santa Claus, bring in the gifts. That's a pattern in the library if you if you didn't know that. Okay, so I added just a little stuffing into the head, and now I need to just crochet around. Oh, a pig. Oh, man, you already read. Oh, you made a request for a piggy, though. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I might have a pig in here. I might not, though. Honestly, I don't have a pig. I don't have a pig, but I have I have a um a good uh, a good optional pig. He turns into a pig. Ganondorf. That's not bad. That's close-ish. He'll go on top of your Santa. <laughs> you can't even see him. He's sitting on top of Santa though. Okay, so so again the hints were um that it is small, it's small enough to fit inside the box. It is an it, it's a creature, 
It can turn into, it could be a finger puppet, but I have not made one into a finger puppet yet. But I could turn it into a finger puppet really easy. Um, and the final hint was, it is a prominent character in a television show. Those are all the hints. And if you got it wrong, no worries. There, are, There's going to be another giveaway next week. I'm pretty sure we got... Someone had to get it right, though. Oh, and it's a pattern from the library. Okay. Gonna add, add our extra threads here as stuffing. So I'm closed. Get this done. And before I get to everything. Like I always say, and how, and you, I hope you guys understand, you know that I appreciate you all so much for joining this live stream, for crocheting along with me. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you uh, decide to spend your Sundays crocheting along with me. Thank you very much. You make my, you make my day, you make my week. I look forward to this, and I appreciate you. Next week, I guess we'll be doing a uh, movie night. Maybe the Muppets. I don't know. I got to think about it a little bit more. But I'm thinking probably Muppets because I love the Muppets. Um, <laughs> we'll probably do a vote on the YouTube community channel. I don't know yet. We'll have to, I think about it. But we'll be doing some kind of movie. And I'm going to do it at the same time as my regular live streams. So next Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we'll do a live stream. And if it's a movie night, it'll kind of be an early movie night, I guess. So, yeah. Next next Sunday, same time, same place. Let's add our magnets. Whoa. Ooh, almost lost them. So this guy closed. I can't believe we've been going. We've we've been streaming for how long has this been going for? Two oh wow well, two two hours and fifteen minutes. It feels like it's been like like half an hour for me. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. And if you um want to crochet this turkey and uh, you don't have a membership account on the website, finish the turkey by tomorrow. I'm going to turn it off. It's free right now, but it won't be free tomorrow. So make your turkey today if you uh, have the time or tonight or something. But if you have a membership account, you'll have access to it, or you can purchase the pattern. Uh, it's only $3 in the shop, so it's not too expensive. There's a full video tutorial for it, just like all my patterns. But if you want to get it for free, now is your chance. Okay. Let's give this guy his head. And we will... Oh, oh, he needs a little bit... Of... I always need to add a little stuffing in the head here. I always forget about that. Oh, a Club Crochet Discord server. Okay, great, great suggestion. I'll make a Discord server. I know I want to make a subreddit for us, too. So I'll work on both of those. Maybe I'll have something to share with you next week. Okay, so we got a toy key. Huh? Huh? What do we think? The tail I sewed on a little bit awkwardly, but I think it's all right. I can stretch it out a little bit too. Not bad though, right? All right. Well, it is time. What's in the box? All right, let's guess what's in this box here. I'll bring up the guesses. Let me turn down the music a little bit. It's a little loud. There we go. Okay, I'll bring up the guesses. And individual. I'm pretty sure someone got it. Someone got it pretty early on, I think, too. So many guesses for Santa. Jingle Bell, Coffee, Bokoblin, Fungaloid. 
All right. Well, here we go. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. It's stuffing. It was stuffing all... No, I'm just kidding. I just added stuffing to fill it in a little bit. See the green there. See the green there. A lot of people are guessing it. Ba -ba -da -ba. It's a baby Yoda. <laughs> so, someone got it early on. Uh, the winner of the giveaway, because they guessed first, um, a lot of people did guess it right, uh, but the winner of the giveaway is... Um, uh, Oh, I don't have their name here, but it's, uh, they're, they're, e uh, hmm. Kiwi is what I'm going to say, because I don't want to give away their whole email address, because all they added was the email address. This is a good thing to note for next time. I'm going to have to put their name in there, whatever your YouTube name is. But, a uh, Kiwi, um, is, is the beginning of their email. They're called Kiwi. So I'll email you, uh, right after this. I need to know whatever your address is. I'm gonna send you a uh, a little a little gift of all the stickers. There's one sticker that isn't included right here. It's for a. Let's see, do I have it here somewhere? No, there's one more sticker in the bunch here. It says like anyone can be a hooker. So, um, thank you all so much for joining this live stream, for joining in in the giveaway. Thank you very much. I am going to be doing another giveaway just like this uh, next week. Yeah, I know, right, Sasha? I know. People guessed it so quick. They guessed it without any of the of the hints. Someone already guessed it. So, yeah, there's actually a pretty good amount of people that got it right. So let me let me look. Let me look here. Let's see. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, someone guessed it right right after they did. Like, it was like, Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda. Who guessed it right afterwards? Let me see. Let's see. How do I go back to individual? There we go. Yeah, the, the person that guessed it right after was, their, their name starts with cats. Like, literally, I think it was like 10 seconds afterwards. You guessed it right. So, congratulations, Kiwi. Congrats. And then someone guessed it right after that, too. It was three in a row. It was like, Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda. The first, um, it was within the first 20 answers. So, you guys are good. You guys deserve it. Like, great job. Um, uh, yes, I will be, sh yes, Rachel asks, uh, for future reference, do I ship internationally for giveaways? Yes, I do. Um, so, you know, if you win it, you win it. Even if you're international. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much again for watching. Pasta La Pizza. Happy Thanksgiving. If you're in America and it's and you're spending time with your family on Thanksgiving, please, please be safe. Um, it is a difficult time right now, and uh, I know you're going to want to spend a lot of time with family and be close and stuff, but you got to be safe. So please be safe. For, for all of our sakes, please be safe. Um, happy hooking. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for um, another giveaway next week. We'll do a, we'll do a fun uh, movie night giveaway and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll stop procrastinating. Pasta La Pizza. Happy hooking. Church of Bur Burb represent. <laughs> and bye. Where do I go? I always forget which one to click. It's that one. It's that one. All right, bye.